Eric, Maxim Chupomoting, makes the Cameroon sing, we're gonna win the cup, everybody. Yeah, that. That is where we went wrong in the last episode. I didn't start the episode with a fact. It worked against Brazil, I let you know something about the beautiful nation of Cameroon, and then we got a good result. So, did you know that in Cameroon there are approximately 230 different spoken languages, and that is including French and English? I'm willing to bet that you didn't, and the rules around here are that if you didn't know, you've got to subscribe, so get clicking, little buddy. But yeah, that result in the last episode against Switzerland has left us in a bit of a sticky situation where we need to win today against Serbia in order to stand a chance of getting through to the round of 16 in the 2022 World Cup. And, well, it won't be easy, but Switzerland do play Brazil, so if we better Switzerland's result, I think we need to win and better their goal difference, essentially, is what's going to happen, then we will go through and seal our place in the next round. I don't know how that's going to go, but I'm nervous because Serbia are pretty darn good. They've not just got Mitrovic, they've got Dusan Vlahovic, for goodness sake, and Luka Jovic as well to boost, boot, boost. It's one of them, he's good and I'm scared. And as well as me being scared, some of our team is pretty knackered, most notably Brian and Webo and Zambo and Gisa, but they both start, along with the Gaggi, who partners Castellito at centre-back, who plays for not in real life and you know what Nkulu's not been doing the business for us so we're going to give Jean-Charles Castelletto a chance with Neom at right back and Tolu coming in at right back who plays for the Seattle Sounders in real life he's very athletic Abose has been rubbish as well so we're giving him a go on Dua Kunde and Zambongisa this time sort of centre mid attack role break forward because he's bloody good and we've not seen nearly enough from him so far this series so hopefully today is where he makes something magic happen. You've got Toku Okambi, Mbuemo and Chupo Moting starting as a target forward. We're going to be a bit more cautious. We're going to hope to soak up the pressure that Serbia have and hit them on the counter-attack, which worked against Brazil and it didn't work against Switzerland when we tried to do it. So here's hoping today is the day that that changes. And if you have faith in me and the boys, then please do let me know by leaving a like on the video. It goes a long, long way in helping me. More than you even know, you might say. Serbia are, however, without Sergei Milinkovic Savic for this game. But regardless, their front four, five in particular, are really good. Even Ilic, Kostic, Dusan Tadic, the captain, Dusan Vlavic, and Mitrovic. As well as the rest of them not being bad either and having options from the bench, such as Luka Jovic. I am worried, but we got a result against Brazil. And they've not won a game. They lost. 3-0 to Brazil in the last episode. So maybe we have a chance. I'm not certain, but I think I'm going to get built up in the optimism. And, I mean, that isn't helping me at all. But regardless, hopefully Philip Kostic thinks that they are 80% through because that, you know, really screwed him last time. Didn't it, Philip? And the first proper highlight of the game. Just three minutes in it is Serbia comfortable on the ball, but I'm hoping we can force a turnover. Oh no, Onana, Onana, wow. He has been a bit chaotic in the last episode and this one so far. So a little bit less of that, please, Andre. Especially when they've got two such clinical strikers up there. I mean, Mitrovic is going to cause, cause us problems. And Vlavic, well, uh, not quite the physical entity of Alexander Mitrovic. In fact, no, I think he might even be bigger. Goodness me, that's scary. Uh, Philip Kostic on the ball, though our clearance was not particularly good. And Alan Neom blocks the cross, putting it out for a corner inside five minutes for the Serbs. And that doesn't fill me with great confidence. Philip Kostic over it. They've got plenty big men in there. Vlavic didn't get there, and Ongisa takes it down pretty nicely, but he has little to no support. Brian Mbuemo and Toko Akambi should be up there. Instead, finds Alan Neom in the left-back position. Toko Akambi, a good tackle there, but perhaps a chance to get... The, no, not, not to get the ball in the box, uh, um, uh, that's the case. And it's Lazovic with a throw-in for Serbia. Not the most fantastic of starts for Cameroon as of yet, which... You know, um, given the way the last game went, isn't isn't a good sign at all. Confidence must be pretty low in camp, and well, maybe it's going to be helped by attempts like that. 
Serbia with the ball once again. Filip Kostic has caused us some problems down that left-hand side with about half an hour of the game played. Back to Illich and his ball towards Nuhu at the back post who heads it clear. Collected by Lazovic though and they're going to come at us once again. Maksimovic ballooning it over and they are really getting a foothold in this match whilst we absolutely are not. Look at those match stats. But there has been a goal between Switzerland and Brazil. But who for Chris Kamara? I don't know, Jeff, has it? I must have missed that. Okay then, I'll tell you. It's for Brazil. They are holding up their end of the bargain. We, however, are not. In fact, Serbia are in a pretty similar situation to us, whereas they, if they win, they've got a very good chance of getting through. Because it's 1-0 already after 14 minutes. Um, well, I suppose it's after 40 minutes. We've not had a single attempt at all, let alone one off target, on target rather. I'm an absolute shambles, and so far, we are too. We've had one shot now, so that's good. And maybe we're going to change things up a little bit more. We're going to play a little bit more narrow, which will hopefully get our two wide men in the game a bit more too. Lowering the tempo and telling them to pass out from the fence. Be confident on the ball. We've got players in there. Let's try and make things happen. Work the ball into the box too. And in fact, we're not even going to bother throwing it wrong. Pass it out. Play it out from the back. I don't know how it's going to go. And maybe engage slightly higher up the park too. Because right now, a draw does nothing for us, to be honest. I don't think a higher line is quite a good idea, given our centre-back speed. However, that's what we'll do for now. And Toko can be, once again, not doing particularly well out there. So we're going to bring on Mommy and Gamalu, and hopefully he can make things happen. Second half getting underway, though. I've told them we're not happy. And there's confirmation of the change. This is a nothing highlight. And we actually have a free kick. We're in possession of the ball. Let's see if we can make something happen. On Dua back to the Gaji. And we're looking actually Oku. Tolo going down that left-hand side. He's got a decent left foot on him. I'll tell you that for bloody sure. And instead goes in with his right. So that proves I know nothing wrong. Alan Neom. Strike it. Strike it. Okay. No. That's that's very nice, Alan Neom. Ball into Zambongisa. Back to a camp there. Neom. Not offside. And, well, no, was offside. Cheers for that, football manager. Got me excited for no reason. But in Buemo with a free kick. And it's a good ball. And the Gadji hits the post. He scored in the game against Brazil. And he's come the closest of the lot so far in this game with 51 minutes played. That's a lot better from our boys. And we have another similar set piece. Looking for the back post once again. Head to clear this time. Onzu out to Zambo and Gisa. And in fact, he's still got in Buemo. Shoot. Shoot, Brian. Or give it to Chippo Moting. A corner. We'll take that. We're good from set pieces. And it's in Buemo. That is over it once again. His delivery's been pretty good good and let's see if he can pick one out again looking for a gadget at the near post headed clear Zambo and Gisa gives it away wins it back into their box shoots near post side netting though so 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 much better so far in this second half from Cameroon perhaps we should have started like this uh, my mistake and we have the ball once again in fact Momo and Gamalu back to the very tired Gadji who goes long for Chupo Moting who gives chase but not good enough Velkovic oh my god he's snuck in he's stuck in oh maybe I should sing about him more easy for Dimitrovic though and he goes long for Serbia Taric does not win it it's the Gadji once again and Buemo back to Alan Neom as we are looking so much more confident on the ball and well he's forced Dimitrovic to come out and head the ball not quite Onana heading out for a goal kick but Mbwemo down that right hand side is causing serious problems and he's maybe going to get the ball into the box he does looking for Kunde Pierre Kunde we've got a chance of going through I hope it doesn't come down to head to head because we will go out oh no but that was so much better and I should have told them to play like this against Switzerland why did I not do that a fantastic ball from Mbwemo and a powerful header Dimitrovic did not get enough of a hand on it and we are 1-0 up. How is things looking elsewhere? Still just 1-0 to Brazil. Oh no, we can't finish level on goal difference. We can't. Come on, Brazil, do something, man. It's okay. It's okay. There's still 20 minutes to go. If we get another goal, then I think we go through. If it goes to goal difference rather than head-to-head, -head, which I have a slight feeling it might. Uh, and Cham suggested to come on. He's been absolute poo-poo caca. But Serbia looking good on the ball here. Slid in behind Alan Neon. Milijevic. Oh, God. It's held by Onana. Not quite very convincingly. And we have gone above Switzerland. Goodness me. We're above Switzerland. This is fantastic news. I don't know what's happened. Maybe it's on 
goals scored, uh, perhaps, I guess. Okay, but Momo and Gamal, who's caused problems on that left-hand side since coming on. And Serbia can't deal with them. Get the ball across and into the box. It's back to, well, Ondua takes it down. Kunde, he's got Alan Neon with plenty of time and space on the right-hand side. The experienced fullback breaking into the box. And, well, taking his sweet time. But I like it. Oh, tipped onto the bar again, I think, by Dimitrovic. Oh, goodness me. Goodness gracious me. Here is New Who. We get another corner. We are good from set pieces. I maybe need to change things to freshen things up. But we'll see the corner first from Pierre Kunde. He's taking his time about it, and I'm not okay with that. Looking for Chupo Moting. Did not find him, and Mbwemo collects the scraps, but I've got a feeling this is going to mean nothing. Perhaps we win another corner, though, from this situation. On Dua, edge of the area. Back to Pierre Kunde, the goal scorer. Shoot, mate, you're on form. Easy this time. Oh, God, I've done another Serbia highlight, perhaps, before I get the chance to make a change. Well dealt with by the Gaji, and for some reason... And Gamalu did not look interested whatsoever. And oh no, Dusan Vlaovic dealt with by no who. Win it this time. No back in. Oh, Nana collects. I like that. Strong, assured, confident. That must give lots of confidence to our back four when you've got Andre Onana behind them. He goes long, ignoring my instructions once again and just giving the ball back to Serbia. Filip Kostic going long for Juric, headed by Castelletto, but not to clear the danger, really. And Vlaovic. Oh, I think it's going to count. I don't think that was offside whatsoever. And we are in a sticky, 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 icky situation. The linesman's flag didn't go up. Marco Lewis talking with the referee and it's goal awarded. Oh, no. That is a sucker punch for the whole nation of Cameroon, I can only imagine. Great header. It's Dusan Vlavic, man. You can't give him that type of space in the box. We're going to take on Nicholas Nkulu for Castelletto, who's not performing well either. Why is the Gaggi so good but no one else is? Ebossi also going to come on, and I think we've got to go for it, essentially. We're going to get Abubakar on. I think we're going to have to take off Zambo and Gisa because he's so tired. How good is he? At uh, you know, he is really good, though. I think we have to, even though he's dead on his feet, we have to leave him on because he is unbelievable. On two, I'm going to come off instead, and we're going to get Vincent Abubakar on alongside... Or do I go tap Soba? Because, I mean, Bubakar's not been good for us at all, whatsoever. But he has got the ability to change things and make things happen for us. Right now, that's what we'll do. I think we still have one more sub to make, which we will probably take on tap Soba with a bit more time to go. We're going to change in Gomalu, uh, Mumu, and, 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 and I can't say his name. It's too many letters, to be honest, and I'm struggling right now. That's what we're going to do for now. Hopefully, we can try and make things happen a bit more. We don't need to force it quite yet. Still plenty of time. And in fact, there's a highlight straight after the goal. And this wasn't just because of the changes. The Gaji on the ball. Perhaps we're going to fire straight back at them. It is on extended highlights, though, so it could be nothing. On Dua into Zambo and Gisa. Out to Embuemo. We are looking so silky. This is brilliant. Oh, no, oh no, Switzerland have scored. The worst possible thing has happened in a matter of minutes. The two worst possible things. Embuemo. Looking for N'Gomo. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Not like this. Juric on the break for Serbia. Somebody just take him out, please. Right, Alan Neon, please. I was about to call him Ryan. Mitrovic in behind. Thank God he's missed that. That was bloody close. The changes are made. It's still 1-1 in the other game, too. The Gaggi still winning everything back there. And they're, they're, they're putting up a lot of men forward, too. Mitrovic. Oh, no. It's heartbreak for Cameroon and heartbreak for me as I am going to fail in another Let's Play series and not meet the objectives. Oh, good Lord. Why am I struggling so much with Football Manager 2023? I'm having a crisis. I mean, it was a nice goal from Mitrovic. I didn't see the replay because I was having a crisis, to be quite honest. And we need to go for it. We have a throw-in. Um, right now, nothing really matters because... Um, Switzerland are not doing the business anyway. And now we're finished, boom, finishing bottom of the group with one point. Goodness me. And no, Switzerland are doing the business. Brazil are not doing the business. And oh dear, oh dear lord. Lukic into it. Mitrovic. It looks like it's going to be another goal perhaps for Serbia. And we are oh, at sixes and sevens back here. And Gomelu did not get there. And he's on a yellow card. And he's just slid in. And Milojojevic. Rubbish. Not rugby, mate. Bazinga. It's time to go for it. In fact, I think Lam Kelsey might be the guy to come on. He's so strong up there. He's so aggressive and that might come in useful. I'll compare him with Tawamba and if, if a chance comes, we need someone with fantastic finishing. And for some reason, Tawamba's not loading. He is. Um, 
he's quite good. Um, oh, he scored a lot of goals in what in Saudi Arabia. He's on fire though. He's on fantastic form. In fact, it's going to be him. I should have taken Lampkelzi at all. Alan Neom is going to come off. We're going to put Tawamba up there with Abubakar, with Chupo Moting, with Brian and Buemo. And please can we make something happen? Goodness sake. Um, we're going to have to up the tempo a little bit, I think, and press a little bit more, I guess, prevent the short distribution. Anything, anything and everything. And please, Brazil, for goodness sake, score as well. Oh, no. It's, they have scored, but it doesn't matter because right now it's still going to be the same. And oh, no, goodness me, nothing's happening. Right, well, in that case, we're going to up the directness as well. Tell them not to bother working the ball into the box. I don't know what else to do. Press high up the park. Make We're going to concede again, aren't we? But we've got to bloody go for it, I guess. Oh, I'm a failure. I'm such a failure. I don't know what else to do at this stage. Um, goodness gracious me, we are out of the World Cup. We're out of the World Cup with a point. After I got sacked by Roma, we're getting out of the... We're not even getting out of the group stages. I mean, that was the expectation, to be fair. They didn't expect us pro to progress, but I thought maybe there's a chance, especially after that first result against Brazil. But alas, no. Out with one point without having won a game. It's a bit like Scotland at the Euros. Oh, good Lord. You know what? We weren't even bad in that game, but when they've got Dusan Vlavic, I suppose it's our job to deal with him, but he's bloody good. Ah, oh, and it was tight. He could have been offside. Goodness me, why? why? Why Why? do I even try play football manager? And there's the confirmation. That's that. We're out of the World Cup. And I am once again a failure. Do you want to leave some suggestions in the comments of something that even maybe I can achieve? Like win the league with Bayern Munich or something like that? Let me know. Or if you want to see me keep trying ridiculous challenges like winning the bloody league with Roma and the World Cup with Cameroon. Then let me know about that in the comments down below. Things were going so well. I should have just quit while I was ahead. 2-2 against Brazil looked like a genius. But here we are. If you've enjoyed the series, nevertheless, please do let me know by leaving a like on the video. It'll make me feel a lot better. And so would the fact. If you subscribed, I don't think that makes sense. But please do subscribe because I've got a lot of more Football Manager 2023 content coming. Especially surrounding the World Cup. I'll have a bottom at Christmas stage save and a rebuild with a massive team who are really struggling. And then, um, yeah. You'll have to stay tuned for that. Thanks very much for tuning in once again. I am a failure, but please take care.